Hello fellow Abacus users. My name is Ebbe Smith and I work for a company called PLM Technology. We are a value-added reseller in Norway selling uh, similar products and Fit Experience and Katia. So today I want to share with you some tips and tricks for working with accessmetrical assemblies. So first we will do, um, do some work on uh, some native geometry created in Abacus CIE where the goal here is to extract a part of a cross section that we might want to model. Uh, I will show you something called a combine extract split technique where we will combine all the parts in the assembly to one part using the boolean operator. We will then partition the part and extract the cross section we want to continue to work with and then move this back into axisymmetrical modeling space. Next we will do the same exercise on external geometry of a higher level of complexity. So I found this on GrabCAD cre created by Tram Tien. Uh, so when I tried this I encountered a bug which makes it a bit hard to partition such an object. So, so I will show you how to do it manually uh, or how to use it how to do it with a script. So how to be able to move this component into axisymmetrical modeling space with, with ease. So without further ado, let's jump into Abacus. So here is a potential axisymmetrical assembly. So I prefer to combine everything into one part. Let's call it assembly. We need to retain all the boundaries, especially if we have more complex geometry, stuff like that. So here we have one part called assembly. We will move into the space. Um, to make it a bit harder, we will take out something in YX space because the native axisymmetrical space is in XY. So we need to do some more funky tricks to take out that arbitrary cross section. So meaning we want to have it in YZ. So I need to create a datum in YZ. Excellent. We need to partition it. It's a cell. We want to use. We want to do this cell here and we want to use this datum plane. So, excellent. So, when I have made my partition like this, then we can also say it is Y set. Now we can, now I just want to delete all the faces which is relevant for me. So I will just take out my whole cross section at this point because I found it to be more robust. Now I know I have my center line in, in, inside. So at this point I will just say, I will, I will just export the total cross section. native total cross and then I will import it immediately when it comes to part attributes I want to import it as a 2d planner um, if I import it as an axisymmetrical then it will be moved with the center line on the outside so this is the part I'm trying to fix so I want to import it into the planner and then we can add the points in the middle perfect I can just delete part of the cross section I don't want to have and now I can go back and say edit I want to have it as an axisymmetrical part and then uh, and now A 
and now we have an access metrical assembly. So let's say if you want to kind of de-split all your components, we can just use the excellent feature, copy, separate disconnected regions into parts. So now I kind of get all my different parts again. So then delete the original combined part and now we are back to back to the original layer. Now this is kind of kind of nice. Let's step it up a notch. Create a new clean model. And then we will import uh, I think the name was it was a coupling and that was an IGES file. So we'll just import it, take some time, it's a rather big file. So I'm uh, not sure about the source, so while we repair it, I can just comment and say that we can just start by glancing on the geometry, import it into into assembly space, where we can immediately see that it's kind of offset of the set axis. That, that might be good, but for our purposes, I would like to have the set axis as the rotation centrum. So let's just translate the outer center point here to 0, 0, 0 and from here I think we can just export our assembly that would be the faster, fastest so I already cheated you see so centered coupling that would be the new name so then we can then we can delete this one, then import it, centered coupling, excellent, one part, since it's I just. So if we try the same methodology as we did with the native geometry, we will encounter the bug, meaning that basically Create partition, a data plane. We want to. We have multiple cells here, so we can just try to have, let's say, uh, that cell here, and then we will get this for all of them. So it will be quite laborious, or it's basically impossible at this point. So, what we need to do if we are out of luck, then we have to copy it and then split or split it into separate regions. Delete it like this, and then we can copy this one part to show, to show you how to manually do it. So no parts to split. So yeah, this one. This was a bad part. I think this this was this would be better because this is actually going to be kept. Excellent. So here we can create a few cuts in the Y set and then in the X set. Excellent. So cutting. So here we have our cuts, so we'll do kind of the, the same method for deleting everything. Uh, and we can actually do this after combining it, but still it's a laborious process. So what's possible to do is to basically figure out what you have been doing here. Uh, you can use the replay file and then you can see uh, 
how did we create this kind of cut? I think this is the part here, and we can use this information to actually write a pretty simple script where we create the datum planes and then we do some cuts, but we do it for all the different parts in our current model. So I'm just going to delete it here. And then we will just run the script or we want to see the effect. We want to see some magic. Delete our geometry reference. Like this. Perfect. Now we are merging everything where we are retaining all the part one. So from here we can figure out okay what kind of cross section do we do we want to have. Let's take it in the let's take uh, this one. So we go we'll go into the into parts and then we can just delete all the surfaces we don't care about same here we will export a part full external cross full and then we can create a new a new part to to kind of split them do the finishing touches here so import part 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 attributes we will still contain 2d planner and then we can create a part at zero zero so yes it's in the middle now I have to choose my side and then edit, make it to axisymmetrical space. Perfect. But still, we have all this, everything here is still one part, so I can copy it and then split it into different regions. Like this. And in the assembly, we can now do. 18 parts, which is individual, especially kind of the bracket part here. So this is how to efficiently create something and move it into axisymmetrical space in Abacus. It is recommended to use some scripting, but you can just see this video in slow mo, I think. So thank you for your attention.